Yeah, this your boy Prejean. What up, world? It's your boy Brash the Brilliant. And it's Well Connected AZ. We've been in Phoenix now for three years, June 8th. Started music way, way back in the day, you know, singing at the Boys and Girls Club, talent shows, things like that. Just got my, my niche for performing, being in front of people, you know, while in the crowd, being on the stage, you know, getting the reaction, looking into the people's eyes, and, you know, really rocking it. And in 2012 is when I started recording, you know, uh, actually doing shows, going out to Cali. Uh, Opening up for all kinds of different artists, T Fly, Ty Dollar Sign, Corrupt, and uh, Dad. But um, just been performing, man, since 2012, on the go, all kinds of different states, different artists. And, uh, just been, you know, trying to represent. I was actually born in Japan. My parents is in the military, so you know they say military brat or whatever. But uh, I grew up in California. Um, I actually moved to Arizona in 2008. Um, I came out here and uh, got an associate's degree in journalism and general studies. It actually took me to like going back to California, my home. My, my homies kind of egg me on, they're like, man, you always freestyle, like, let's go up there. So I freestyle for like five beats straight. And after I was done, like, everybody just gave me a round of applause. And like, the feeling and the energy was so overwhelming. I was like, this is what I'm gonna do. So since 2013, I've been on it full time just doing this music. I love it so much. Uh, I would say definitely uh, Delhi Every Day is one. He has a lot of music out there killing it. Um, I like also Syllables, he's a, a big Spanish rapper, but he also raps in English, he's killing it as well. You know, you got Definitely Benji as well, killing it. Those are a few of the people that really, really stand out, that's really making moves right now in my eyes. I mean, one of my favorites is obviously Prejean, like, he's super cool, like, but man, his voice is just angelic, you feel me? It just really puts you in that vibe. Um, I really like uh, Show Nuff from Tucson, he dope, man, kill it. he fired. Um, J. Rock the Chief, he got some flow too as well. Uh, shout out to Futuristic, he doing his thing, always putting on. Also, uh, Slick Money, we killing it. We do a lot of shows, uh, a lot of different things we got out there right now. Slick Money for sure. Win Team, you know what I'm saying? Win Team. We got a few radio hits out there. You know, me and Prejean, we do a, a lot of shows together. Um, we've opened up for Twista, uh, we've done uh, Urban Splash, Pool Parties, you name it. Um, we uh we just show opened, as well. We Yuck Mouth, we just opened up for Eric Bellinger. That show was super lit. Yeah, uh, they club showed club. a lot of love, a lot of support. And that's what I, I really enjoy about uh performing out here is like the crowds they be going crazy, they show mad love, you know, they come supported by merch, get on the email list and everything, and it's super dope. I think um like as far as like AZ and the music scene is it's super dope too as well. I just think the biggest problem is a lot of people feel like they're competing with another artist when really the only person you're competing with is yourself. Like you need to be the best you, you feel me? That's how you get that win. Like the fact that you woke up in the morning and you breathe in and you got your bills played and you can go about your business, that's a win in itself, you feel me? So you gotta thank God for what you got and just always have that positive mindset that you gonna win. Um, the first single is I Feel Sorry. You want to be mad at the people that uh, doubt you or put you down or belittle you, but then you got to think about it. You know what? They don't know what they're doing because sometimes it's involuntary hate and it's just something in themselves that they need to discover or understand why they're feeling like that, but they can't. So it's, it's hatred towards you, but it's like, man, I'm not even going to acknowledge it as a negative thing. I'm going to look at it like I feel sorry. You know what I mean? I feel sorry that you think that way, that you got to act that way. Rather than showing support and uplifting those around you, it's like, damn, it's, it's, it's sad that you got to live like that so it's like I feel sorry and uh, the song is a solo song with me actually rapping on the uh, verses singing on the hook tracks beat uh, did the beat definitely killing it yeah thematic tracks so um, just a lot of love I actually uh, got it uh, produced in HKS Studios so he made it sound right and that's just a song it kind of represents me and a lot of people can relate to it because there's always been that person that doubts you and if you think about it doubt is contagious like if the first no or the first stop you kind of get discouraged in most cases you know what i'm saying so it's like just because one person doubts you here or says that it's like you don't got to accept what they do to you as who you are their perception is never your reality and and i really try to preach that through the song it's like i'm sorry who who caused your misperception you know what i mean a lot of people will have a story. I don't think anybody has a story where it's like, oh, I just did this, I did this, and now I'm on the top. You know, everything's good. You're going to definitely have a story to tell. So I, I just want to bring that that to life in the video for I feel sorry. Like, there's, you know, it, it hasn't always been easy. I had to grind, had to, get, you know, do this, you know, experience this. Hey, work hard, you know, show love here, do that, and then finally get to where I want to be, you know. So 
I think a lot of people are doubted, and I think they let that doubt overcome them. You know what I'm saying? They don't ever get out of that feeling of, oh, I'm not too good, or rather be a relationship because, you know, ex or whatever is talking shit, or it be at work where you never can get a break, they bullshit, and or it's just being just with your family. You know, your family always belittling you and breaking you down. So it's one of them songs where it's like, no matter what you say or do, like, I'm going to be who I, who I was born to be, you know what I'm saying? Who God wanted me to be. So it's like, that's what I want the video to have. When you, you hear the song and feel it already, but I want that to be the vision of the video. So, When it's the weekend time and you didn't have a long week and you trying to go out and everything, you want to play your music and your tunes just to get fresh on, you feel me? So you put on that Where the Party is going to have you in that, well, you know, that vibe and party, just ready to go out and mess up the town, you feel me? Like, just show your best. It's a real fun, like, poppy, bubbly, live single. Uh, we got my homie uh, Pop Soul, Monty Mogul singing on the hook along with Pre. They killing it. We dropping bars on there, and uh, we just having a blast. The video is gonna be coming out very shortly too. So we play that when you get ready, then play that when we get to the club. Yeah. Play it on the way home. <laughs> play in the morning. In the I'm, morning. I'm blackout tonight. It really. <laughs> has that feeling, you know? I'm actually gonna drop my first like release mm -hmm. album this year. I'm really excited. Um, it's called Retired to Rap. And I've always seen like a nine to five, like modern day slavery. Like you just get in the same type of position, the same orbit in the same circle. And people, you know, they go everywhere to get a dollar, but they hate it. Uh, I got all my stuff in order. I've been saving and everything. And uh, I'm gonna be finishing up my album, Retired to Rap. It'll be dropping around December. Keep a lookout for the Where to Party At video. And uh, no refunds and no better blues will be coming out to you very shortly as well. I was raised to be there for your family no matter what. Just that love, that principle of love, that's what I was taught growing up. So it's like, I actually in November donated my kidney to my aunt. She had a kidney, a chronic disease, chronic kidney disease, and uh, both her kidneys wasn't functioning well. So they had like 5% kidney use. She's on dialysis. So I was like, it's time for me to step up. At one point, I'm scared. Like, no, nah, I wasn't like, hey, me, pick me, pick me, I'll do it. You know, it's like my family needs it. I was taught to love your family and if they need something, do it. So I couldn't live if she was to pass me on, I could do it. And then on top of that, I just, God showed me through dreams, through going to church, the pastors that was read. Um, it's a whole process. I wish I had time to tell y'all about it, but um, he just walked me through that process and I knew it was okay. And me and God had the conversation, we talked, and um, everything's gonna be okay, you know? Sadly as it sounds. So I just stayed confident. I didn't think about the reality of what I was doing. I more so think about the uh, results of what would happen if I was to do it. And my aunt's doing good, you know, and I feel great. And I'm sitting here today doing a podcast with Viv, you know what I'm saying? So I feel blessed. Like, I feel like God is connecting the dots after all. And it's just, again, going back to the song, I feel sorry. A lot of people would doubt you or perceive you to be one person. It's like, you just gotta show with actions that who you are and what we're here to do. And all of us got a purpose. No matter what I did or what you gonna do tomorrow or you Viv, like we gotta we gotta find what our purpose is being here today. And I feel like that was the number one step to more to come for me in my life. So I'm glad my aunt's okay and everything's cool. Uh like Pre said, we like we're big on donations, yeah. so I so make sure that we either like homeless. we give in some type of portion of our proceeds from our uh funds of merch like to go feed the homeless or we go out there and you know actually help with the homie yeah, big cuz too as well so we big on that the easiest place to find everything that win team does is our website of course you know the music's everywhere on like itunes spotify you can type in win team will pop up over there um i got solo songs if you want to type in uh, my solo name brash the brilliant but i really want you to go to the website the website is dope i want you to sign up on there yeah, yeah, so uh, definitely check us out on the IG. That's one D A Y underscore P R E, uh, Pre John P R E J O N, everywhere. Um, as far as looking for videos and music, again, uh, like I said, just grind, man. For whatever it is that you believe in, just do it. Rather it be music, painting, school, you know, children, and your teacher, whatever it is that you want to do, do that shit. Because people gonna always tell you no. That's a common dominator. It's no. You know what I'm saying? But you can, up, you know what I'm saying, go over that and keep grinding. So regardless of what it is, just grind, man. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna happen if you pay for uh, I just wanna tell y'all, man, like, God put you here to win no matter what, you feel me? Like, I don't care, like, what you're going through. You're gonna take L's, you're gonna struggle, you're gonna have trials and tribulations, but the only time that you actually lose is when you give up and you surrender. If you keep trying, you can't lose, you feel me? So eventually, you might get a thousand no's, but you're going to get that one yes, so don't ever give up. Make sure you're winning non-stop, you feel me? It's your boy Brash the Brilliant, win team. Yeah.
for a pre jam. Make sure y'all check us out. Spotify, Google Play, Amazon, Apple Music, all of that. Much love to be Well connected, AC. Well connected.